In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a database migration from Access DB to Dataverse within Microsoft Power Platform. Now, there is a connector which allows you to do uh, the migration from Access DB to Microsoft Dataverse. And now, what is the benefit of migrating to Dataverse? Now, one thing is that you can make your Access My Access DB mobile, so you can uh, provision an app within Power Platform, and then you can use that to make it online so that you know the database is not restricted to any file system for it to get accessed now uh, other part is like uh, by migrating into dataverse you can utilize various dataverse capabilities like the security the detailed security compliance authentication governance uh, development capabilities for citizen development uh, rich array of integration disaster recovery, backup solutions, application lifecycle management. You can connect to an API support, SDKs, plugins, virtual table, Teams integration, and many more, you know? Now, uh, the backend connector, which is basically used to do the connection between access to data versus access connector for Dataverse and Power Platform. Now, what is the target environment where I can migrate? Now, there are two options. One is uh, you can migrate from Access Database to Dataverse or from Access Dataverse to Dataverse for Teams. Now, both the processes are similar. Now, the migration process is first is you need to identify your Access Database, okay? Now, remember, not everything can be migrated from Access Database to Dataverse. So, you need to make sure that your database uh, is prepared. Okay, so prepare access DB for migration. Basically, you need to proactively identify compatibility with the Dataverse column support. Now, the data types for access and Dataverse are quite similar, but access has got more, uh, like say, uh, space for the data types. Uh, and that's why, you know, like that incompatibility uh, situation comes into picture. Now, uh, the the steps over here is basically you need to proactively check which columns are supported, which I'm going to cover in the next slide. Now, the next step is to run through the access data validator. Uh, then you start the migration process. Now, once the uh, data validator validates, if there are no exceptions, then you're good to go. In case of any exceptions, you can ignore the incompatible types and start migrating only the supported data or maybe you can completely stop the migration process. It's up to you. Now, tables will be migrated to Dataverse after that action. You verify the table creation in Dataverse. Uh, and then uh, basically in MS Access Database, when you open it, you might find a linked connection established in Access Database. Now, Access DB versus Dataverse. Now, if you see on the left-hand side, you have an MS Access limit. And on the right hand side, we have a Dataverse access limit for a table. Now, this table I've taken it from Microsoft site. Uh, if you see over here, access limit is 255 character for short text, Dataverse limit is 4000 character. So, if it is less, then it's fine. But if this is more, then there is an issue. Okay. Now, long text is one gigabyte, and here it's 104 at 576 characters. So, if there is disparity, then you may need to always check if access is lower then it's fine now for auto numbers you see a lot of bigger value over here and this is just 4000 characters so you need to watch out for some of the of uh, data types like this auto number uh, and also if you see uh, something like uh, decimal numbers or float okay check out the max limit and the min limit okay so if it is not falling within that space then you need to watch out for what value are you using in your table and that's why you know like the important step is to prepare your access database okay first float is also problematic okay boolean uh, is okay a uh, lookup wizard now here uh, access returns multiple columns in the lookup however data was written single column so that is also not supported within the migration now the field steps to watch out for is basically the, the things which are not supported now the rich text field the calculated field OLE objects anything which is in red is not supported okay so you may need to find the workaround 
uh, or maybe you may choose to not migrate those components and then you can use Dataverse uh, for other fields as well. Now, number type, float, multi-value lookup and attachment are also some of the field which is supported, but you need to be very careful while doing the migration. So uh, you need to prepare your data in such a way that those migration uh, process is successful. Now, uh, Dataverse capabilities, which I was talking about, like when you migrate from Access to Dataverse, now anything which is uh, in gray color uh, is almost like uh, available within uh, access db okay but if you see anything which is in blue color you get an additional functionality when you migrate to dataverse like authentication authorization auditing you can run a job so you can run a workflow uh, common data model uh, semi-structured data files and blob log files uh, and then connect to azure services like event hub service bus you can event it with webhook and you can even export to lake. Now let's do uh, the migration and see how things work in uh, MS Access. So MS Access is open in front of me. Now what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to create a very simple database, okay? Now the database which I'm going to uh, name is, I'll call this as, um, say, cricketers. Okay, and I'll create this database. Now here, uh, the first table which I'm going to create is uh, I'm going to write say name okay and the next one which I want is maybe uh, say matches okay so, so this is name and this is matches okay So if I say name as say, Sachin, matches is say 334, and maybe uh, Smith, okay, matches is 120, okay. Now these are two records which I added in my table. Now I'm going to add one more, which uh, the data that which I may look is uh, lookup and relationship, which I'll come back to it, but let me first save this record, okay. So I'll say predators. Okay. So this is one table. Now the second table which I'm going to create is basically if I go to say close this and here if I go to create and create a table, uh, I'll call this as say country. Okay, this field and this country is uh, a short text. Okay, so that's country. Okay. Now here, I'll say Australia, India, and England. Okay. Now I'll save this. Now this, I'll call it as country cricketers. Okay. Uh, so this is the two tables, cricketers and country cricketers. Now in cricketers table, if we go here, I will add a lookup and relationship and I'll call this relationship. I want the lookup field to get the values from another table and the table will be from country cricketers and I click on next and I'll pick up the country field. Okay, this is the selected field, next, next and I'm okay with it. Okay, what label would you like to look up for your lookup field? I'll say country. I'll finish this up. So here, if you see, if I select a country, I can say Sachin is from India, Smith is from uh, Australia, and these are like a couple of records. I can add one more, oh, A and bottom, okay. And matches uh, 320 and 100 Indian, okay. Now, there are two tables now, and it has a relationship. It has a field of, so uh, now the cricketers, if you see here, there's a name short, field short text fields then there is a drop down there is an integer value so all good okay so now i'm ready for this migration now how to migrate this first is maybe you need to first close all those things okay you need to have a clean slate over here then you can go to external data and click on dataverse or you can select any table whatever table you want so this is the main table 
I will just right click and say export to Dataverse. Okay, so either ways it works fine. So if I click on Dataverse, it will identify that I'm not only migrating just one table, but there are two tables. Now, how this two table has come because there is a relationship. Now, let me show you the relationship basically. Uh, so if I go to say cricketers, okay, this is the table. Now, if I see the relationship, now there is uh, a relationship which has been established uh, between this particular table, okay? So country cricketers and cricketers, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is, let me close this, let me close this. Again, I'll start the migration process. If I click on cricketers over here, export, dataverse, then it will show me that there are two tables which need to be exported. I'll just say, okay, okay? Now, Remember why I'm seeing all this environment over here because I have signed in to my Microsoft 365 account. Okay. Now, if you don't, you will not see this. So you need to first log into your Dataverse environment. Okay. Now, how do you log into this environment? You just you go here and then just sign into MS Access database. Now, let me open uh, the. This is what I'm going to demonstrate to you. So if I go into my environment, say get a dev, okay, this is the environment. And let me close this. And if I go into tables, and if I see custom tables, I don't see anything related to uh, cricketers over here, right? So it's there is one cricket team, but there's nothing related to cricketers. Now we are, we are going to use this environment to migrate, okay? Now if I go to MS Access Database, let me pick get a dev and see the options it says export related tables so we can select related tables however it will automatically select the related tables like country cricketers because it has a dependency on cricketers table click on okay now you can specify the database solution for export if it is unchecked default solution will be used so you can specify which database solution you want but i don't want it to be uh, put into some database solution uh, I can link to Dataverse table after exporting and I can open the Dataverse table when URL when finished. I'll just uncheck this, okay? Now, everything is good for me. What I'm gonna do, I'll click on next. The moment I click on next, it will start running validator. Now, if your data type is incompatible from access to Dataverse, then it will throw out some error. Then you need to make some hard choices. But for me, it's a simple stuff, two tables or uh, data type, uh, short text, integer, lookup, all good. Validation is complete. I click on OK. OK. Now it will start retrieving the list of tables from the database environment and it will start populating access uh, uh, database into my database environment. So let me go into the uh, database environment. This is my database environment. And it might take a while for this to populate. OK. Uh, I'd say maybe like two, three minutes because for me, the table is like very small. Uh, so let me refresh this uh, tables and in a short while I should see the, the cricketers and the country cricketers table listed over here in the environment. Now here in MS Access, it's, it's still like doing all those migration activities. So let's wait for some time. Now, if you see in the table list under make.powerapps uh, website, you will see that these two tables are now migrated. So country cricketers and the cricketers. Okay, so these are the two tables which is I have migrated. Now let's uh, go into this table and see what's there. So if I go into cricketers, then I should be able to see the schema uh, and also the data which has been inputted. So if you see here in this table, I have got all the three records which is present in the access database. Uh, and if I go into the another table, which is a country cricketers. So here, there were three records over there as well, India, Australia, England. And if it is there, then yes, my migration is successful. And also you can go into relationship and check what is the relationship with the cricketers table, which is this country cricketers country. 
and this is a one to many relationship so all my data has been migrated but now let's go into access and check what's happened yes so now i'm in access now here we can see that export to microsoft database is done completely it says local table name export succeeded if you want to view a detailed report you can click over here uh, now watch out for this space over here now there are only two tables over here now the moment i click on close something might change over here now you will see additional two table now this two table is basically a linked connection between the database and the access so if i click on country cricketers the thing which you see over here is basically something coming from dataverse okay so this is dataverse related table now you can hide this information if you want you can just right click and hide in this group uh, or you can keep it as it is and if you want to understand more about this uh, i believe you can go into you know uh, see the the dependencies basically by clicking on object dependencies uh, and also like if i close all these things okay. yeah now the two things which you see over here cricket is local and country cricket is local this is like your access db okay and country cricketers and cricketers are basically your the connection now this connection can be viewed using linked table manager now if you see linked table manager what exactly it will show is these are the two dataverse table which is getting connected okay now let me do one thing let me go in this country cricketers okay and let me add one record over here okay now if i add another record say south africa okay and let me see whether that changes persist here or not okay in access db now here what you need to do is you need to go into say any cricketers or country cricketers and then go to link table manager select the data source which you want to be refreshed if you click on refresh over here then it will start establishing that connection again and try to retrieve or sync the information from uh, say uh, database to ms access it might take a while for the connection to establish but then once it is connected then uh, the data transfer process will be uh, smooth okay and you may have to do it uh, you know like multiple times uh, because sometimes this connection uh, may not be you know like say refreshing it so let me refresh this again and it's connected so let me close this and let me open the country cricketers and you should see one more record which is south africa so that's it folks this is how you connect uh, ms access database to microsoft database thanks for watching